New Zealand is Middle Earth. I mean, there's just no question. It looks like Middle Earth. It's the biggest star of the movie in both, both trilogies, actually. It's a phenomenal place to shoot. I've had a real affinity with the country and the place and its people, from Wellington to Picton and the Marlborough Sounds. It's on the west coast, you've got all of that extraordinary wilderness. Going back for the, for the second time round on a, on a Middle Earth trip was, uh, was fantastic. When The Hobbit was written originally, it was written before The Lord of the Rings, of course. It's about the dwarves going back to reclaim their heritage and taking Bilbo along with them on their journey. This time round, um, I basically had to unlearn everything that happened to, to Gollum in The Lord of the Rings trilogy, because of course that, that happens at a later date. Here we see him and he is 60 years younger. He's 540 years old, you know, I suppose he's 600. When we find Gollum in this one, he's been in the Misty Mountains uh, for a long time on his own. He's been thrown out He's an outcast from his own society, and he's been slowly going mad, craven, and addicted to this, to the power of this ring for half a millennium until he meets Bilbo Baggins. What is that Baggins is precious. And we see this, this battle of wits between Gollum and Bilbo Baggins. This is an incredibly exciting adventure, which takes place in one of the most beautiful settings in the world. A setting which I've grown to love and, you know, a country that I've grown to love over the last 12 years. You couldn't wish for anything more. It was the most extraordinary landscapes, features, wilderness. It's absolutely primordial. Some of the forests, some of the mountain scenery just looked like it had never been touched, never been walked on, never had a, a footstep trodden in.